Hello there everyone and welcome back to some more DML. So today we are going to be hatching a really cool little dragon. So the big horn dragon was the dragon that we got as a reward for completing heroic mode. And the first thing that I notice about his egg is just how like straight it is. Like it's barely even round at all. But either way, I am very glad that we finally get to add this guy to our collection. He is a little cutie and he's like a... It almost looks like a knife on his tail, even though I know it isn't. But one of the toughest creatures around, the Bighorn Dragon thrives in even the most extreme terrains of Dragolandia. So he's a Shadow, Metal, and Earth Epic. But I won't be using him in a team or anything. He's obviously just more of a collector's dragon, collector's item, whatever you want to call him. But again... Heroic mode suddenly became like the easiest thing ever recently with the introduction of VIP level 19 up to VIP 20. So that's how we got him pretty much instantly. But there we go, number 306 out of our Codex collection out of 421. Protector prizes, we only need to get the sumo now because he is in this little section of dragons. We've got the steampunk, which is for finishing the map normally, and... Well, kind of, and then the big horn for finishing off heroic mode. But he's called Mate. Mate, what you doing? Mate, what you doing? But he he's got the same body type. Like he just jumps around. Just jumps around. Oh, he's actually so adorable. I really do like him in his baby form. But as usual, we will be leveling him up to his adult form here. And he's got spikes all over his back. I mean, it's kind of weird how he looks like he's just made of wood. I guess it makes sense, but big ram ears as well, and gigantic eyebrows, which I'm also a fan of. I really do like this dragon. So, there we go. We can finally say that we've completed heroic mode. We have the big horn and all that good stuff, so that's good. That's good at the very least. And this is probably going to be my final attempt to breed in the f a second fluffy dragon, I guess. So, how do we go? One hour, 35 minutes. Well, I guess it's not our final attempt then. Yeah, the game always likes to do that, where it's like, okay, you got one last attempt. Oh wait, no you don't, because you, you had like a one hour breeding time. You know, that's fine, that's fine. Let's collect some more food for more clan quest points. I love simple ones like that. Give your dragons 4,400 food? I can do that. I can do that. Where's the Empress? There we go. Feeder! Lovely, lovely. Like, look at how simple those feeding quests are and stuff like that. I love it absolutely love that new quest to feed dragons like pretty much no food at all and i believe it does scale based off of your player level so if you're looking at that number it's like four thousand food that's so expensive quacks like i think it's a little bit less depending on your player level and either way four thousand isn't that much because you can get it quite easily out of you know just putting most food in the in the actual farms unless you're like level 10 then, in which case, you know, that that is a little bit more than I probably expect you to have just on hand all the time. Yep, there we go. Pet dragons is also done. Breeder dragon, I don't want to do that. Conquer two mines on the campaign map. I guess we could do that, but let's do side quest battles in the campaign because, you know, they're all obviously super easy to do, especially when we have all of our auto battle tickets. And I don't want to put our farm in the inventory, amazingly enough. Let's see. Are you gonna give me a shard today, game? Let's see. Spin it to win it. What are you gonna give me? You are gonna give me a gold. Wow. That's good. What do we get? 15 gems, 15,000 food, 850,000 gold. That is not too shabby. We didn't get a shard out of it because we need two more. But, you know, that wasn't a bad haul there. Like, the 15 extra gems in particular, that's actually really not too bad. Not too bad at all. But let's go over to heroic mode and see if we've got any blue fights that the game wants us to do. We haven't actually done that one, so we can't auto battle it yet. This one we can. Let's skip that. Oh god, yeah, again, seeing 35 auto battle tickets, it feels so good. It feels so lovely having that available to us. It's actually amazing having so many auto battle tickets. It means that we can level up super quick, get all the resources a lot quicker so it's just a lot of a a very thankful gift that i have that gameloft have granted to us 
in this in this hard hard times where you know we got new divines coming out and maybe one day we'll have a divine legendary and shadow dragon something like that in that case it's probably going to be pretty terrifying but you know we can do all of these blue map fights for like they don't even take that long anymore especially with the tickets like I think like 35 tickets, oh that's so tedious having to use all of those, but it actually takes like no time at all. So, I don't know, I have been noticing the level ups a lot and extra XP, extra gold and that. Very, very, very easy to tell the difference between what it used to be. But there we go, we can finish these fights in two times speed. Oh god, I, di I didn't mean to auto battle that one, but you know that works as well. Let's battle this. Like, if we put this on, I can't even click fast enough for the two times to even be effective. So, a few people have been saying make the button sticky or something that we can click on the keyboard to make it much easier to activate it. Because having to go all the way to the bottom right to activate the double speed, again, sometimes takes longer than just doing the fight almost. So... I don't know, I guess we'll see. If enough people really want it to be like a a keyboard button to do it, that would be great. But it, it depends, like... I don't know how many people care enough to have such a change happen to a brand new feature. Again, it's one of those things that would technically make things even quicker. But I, I don't know if a lot of the DML like player base really care enough <laughs> to... To, like phrase it in whatever way I can and I have to say if my voice sounds any different or if I sound tired it's probably because I guess I am because I I didn't wake up too long ago did not wake up too long ago at all but the, the massive storm from yesterday doesn't seem to be affecting anything now which is great because like yesterday there was a storm around here not as bad as the ones that have been in America obviously but it was terrible and I couldn't even, like, put the webcam on or anything because I didn't want to turn the lights on. I know I had my PC on, but, you know, the less things you have turned on, the better when it's, like, really stormy outside. I don't know, it's just in England you never really get storms that are that bad. <clears throat> so, when you hear about, like, cyclones and, like, really high winds, it's like, what the heck is that doing around here? So that's basically the difference between living in America and living in the UK. Like, in the UK, there's no really big storms. It's just sometimes, obviously, over here you get snow. But you don't always get snow around here either. So, <clears throat> kind of weird. And I just heard a knock on my door. Was that actually a knock or was that the mailman? He has... I don't know what he does, but the mailman has a way of terrifying me because basically he has to open the hatch to put the mail through, but it sounds like a massive loud knock on the door because I think he's just given up with my mail, like the, the little slat at the front of the door. So every time I get the mail delivered, it actually terrifies me a little bit. Not even going to lie, it actually scares me like more than it should. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a big baby. Maybe I'm actually, like, stupid. <laughs> I know he's not trying to scare me. It's just one of those things, you know? I, I, I'm sure he doesn't think he's doing it, but he just does. It's mainly because I live on my own, so when you hear noises like that sound like they're coming from in your home, it's actually kind of freaky, to put it lightly. Again, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a big baby, big scared baby. Quacks, that's who I am. But I'll use that food on her, and then we've got 35 million, so we can clear out a couple of things here. Let's use one on the Curlicue tree, and we can clear out... Can we clear out two of these? No! 7.2 million. So close. But look at our XP already. I've gained like 10 million XP in a day, which is pretty sweet. So these next few sets of things that we clear out should give us the level up to level 111. Thank God, because I just had to sell an Autumn Dragon to fit in the Big Horn earlier. So I legit have zero space, currently. Zero. Across everywhere. I mean, I do have the double Firefly Dragons, but these are the only two dragons. Or well, the only dragon I will keep as a duplicate in this game. And apart from that, I have no space. So, very concerning. Very concerning indeed. 
But for now, I am gonna vamoose. <clears throat> I don't know, that's kind of weird saying it when we have a ram here. But either way, I'm gonna go, go vamoosey and do some other stuff. So for now, thanks for joining me today. You know, if you need any help or whatever, feel free to feel free to ask on either Discord, YouTube comments. You know, I've got plenty of plenty of ways to ask for advice if you need it. But until next time, I will see you then.